Today is Monday, April 29th, 2019. With this beautiful, warm, sunshiny weather. Yeah, we're at, sitting at 33 degrees. And snowing. I have a little surprise that's come to the farm here. I'll show you in a minute. I want to see how these guys are doing. They're doing good in there. Okay. And you're hiding over there. Yeah, you're hiding over there. And you're in there with them keeping them warm. Okay. okay. And piggies are over there. Yes, you would never know it was April the 29th. Lovely weather. <sighs> Good morning, little guy. How are you? I have to check with the dairy farmer, um, but this one here is a Norwegian something cross. Uh, cross with a Holstein. Um, can't remember the exact full name. It was Norwegian something or another. Be it's a beef breed. It's a cross with a beef breed of some kind. He told me the full name, but I can't remember it. I have to ask him again. Um, we were talking about so many different things that day that uh, it didn't stick with me. <laughs> also remembers Norwegian something or another. He's number 50. And he's very calm. Oh. Hey, are you hungry? Hmm? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Me, number 50, are you hungry? I got him on Friday. Oh. <laughs> I got him on Friday. And he was just over a week old when I got him. You gonna drink today on your own? He'll take a couple of drinks and then, and then uh, he stops. Okay, here, I'll help you. Come on. Come on. Like if, if you're new to my channel, you know that I never use a bottle. I teach them to drink out of a pail. And they normally get it within a couple of days. Some get it the first day, some take it three or four days. This guy's just about got it. Because every time I put the pail down for him, he takes a few drinks out of it, but then he looks for my finger to suck on it. And I don't normally give, once they start drinking on their own, I don't normally give them the finger again to suck on. But he just takes a few little mouthfuls and then he stops and he looks for my finger. So he's never he hasn't done a full good drink yet other than a few slurps but I'm to the point now where I just keep my finger in his just in his lips right now they're not in his mouth they're just in his lips and that's it so he's got he's come that far already when I first start with them I have my finger all the way in their mouth sucking in the bucket and then I I gradually slowly pull it out Every once in a while, if he starts hunting for my finger because he doesn't like it in his lips, then I'll give him the whole finger again for whoa. 
and I'll give him the whole, my whole finger for a couple of seconds and then pull it back out into his lips. That's why he's head butting him to fail because my finger's just at his gum line. Maybe somebody out there knows what the rest of it is. It's of a Nor Norwegian something or another. It's a beef animal, beef breed I mean, and it's a cross with Holstein. That's all I'm getting from him this year is all his crosses. Because in Canada here we have milk quotas and they can only, in Canada here we can only, they can only produce so much milk so they have milk quotas so when they don't, when they don't need any more cows to milk, they crossbreed with beef to make it a little bit easier to get rid of the, uh, the calves. Because the Holstein market is in the toilet. And uh, they're not really worth that much, if anything, at times. He's had his shots already. I haven't cast, I haven't banded him yet to castrate him yet. Um, I usually wait till about four or five months old before I do that. Nice size calf. He's a bull. Settle down there, boys. Yeah, crazy weather, I'll tell you. It's been cold here now for days. And uh, actually, two nights ago we were down at two o'clock in the morning, we were down to twenty three degrees Fahrenheit just a couple of nights ago. And uh, I think yesterday we hit a high of uh, 38 yesterday um, on Saturday we got to a high of 52 and that's the highest we've gotten yet this spring we've had a couple of small rainstorms one heavy duty rain we had and then we've had several showers and uh, this is what our third snow in the past two weeks. not quite drinking this full bucket full. This is four liters. When I got him from the farmer, he was drinking three liters twice a day. And this bucket here is four liters and he just about makes it all, but he leaves about a maybe a cup in the bottom.
pretty much done here. Now he's just playing. Yeah, I, I guess anybody knew. I, I've never in 38 years used a bottle. Well, I shouldn't say never. I used one a couple of times when I've had a couple of really sick calves. And he's done now. So he pretty well drank it all. He's got maybe a cup and a half left in there. You want some grain? You want some grain today? <clears throat> he wants to suck on my hand, not the, not the grain. He's got free choice grain in here that he wants at any time himself. And he's got a little bit of hay over there so that he can nibble at it if he wants. But so far he doesn't look like he's been touching the grain on his own unless I put it on my hand like this and he'll eat a little bit of it. I'm falling over. <laughs> and it doesn't look like he's touched the hay at all. But... He's pretty, uh, I wouldn't say docile, but he's pretty laid back and really calm, like really, really calm. I was actually kind of worried about him on the weekend there because he was so calm. I thought maybe that he wasn't feeling well. And I took his temperature and everything and everything seems to be fine. But he was just so calm. He doesn't, doesn't spook when I come in the pen here to feed him. He doesn't, doesn't, uh, get, doesn't get too head buddy. He will when he's got his head in the pail. And he's... Not aggressive at all, even when it comes to eating. He just eats calmly, slowly and calmly. And I took his temperature and he was right on 102, because I was kind of worried him on this on Sunday. Because he was so laid back that I come in the pen here and he'd be laying down and I come in the pen and he wouldn't even stand up. Hey, big guy. You want some more milk? Come on. He's a nice sized calf. Norwegian something or other. I just can't think of think of the rest of the name. I think I forgot the rest of it by the time I pulled out of his driveway. Because <clears throat> he gave me the name as we were loading him. And uh, it didn't stick with me. Because it's not a, not a breed I've heard of before. I don't think. Well, not one I've had for sure, I know that. Usually I get crossbred Herefords from him, or Black Angus, or uh, Sale. Um, and Jersey. I've had a couple of Jerseys from him. I had a really nice 
Jersey bull, Jersey Cross bull. And I was going to keep him for breeding, but he died on me. He was, he went down and he was down on the ground for God three weeks. And he wouldn't get up, but yet he'd eat and everything else. I treated him and the vet looked at him and didn't, couldn't, didn't know what was the matter. And uh, he had a good appetite, everything. Like I lost five that year. You're all done now? Okay. Oh! You gonna eat some more or what? No, that's it. broke the light bulb. I dripped milk off my hand on the light bulb there. <laughs> this is about the sixth one I've gone through between the heifer calves and this guy. But a few of them got dripped on from condensation on the roof on these tarps. Hey, big guy. some feed here for the pigs and some of this medicated calf starter here for the two heifers. I mix it about one-third of the medicated calf starter to corn and barley. them <sighs> hope I have another light bulb I've tried to use um, I've tried to use uh, the LEDs but they don't seem to make contact in those sockets Hey, piggy, piggies. Hey, 
Okay, that's for you. Yeah, that's for you. You have to get it pretty dirty. Yeah. You have to get it pretty dirty. Yeah, you think these are pretty, pretty dirty. because that boar likes to take over all the food. <laughs> hey guys. Okay. They destroyed their house completely. So they just have their bed right now in the straw there. Because they basically ripped it right apart. Hi girls. I see you dumped the water pail over again, eh? Draw on here for you guys later today, looks like. Get you some water. Nasty weather. <sighs> Have to go get firewood today. Yeah, they're cow steers are down over the hill there with their hay, bale of hay. I put one bale way out there by the road for them, but they haven't they haven't touched that bale yet. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's about it for today. I have to uh, clean my truck off and change the hitch of my truck to the other ball size. The other trailer will get firewood and a uh, bunch of other things. So, talk to you later. Take care and be safe.